Ducky Ducky, welcome back. I got a couple paint tips for you. Things that help me out. Kind of makes life a little easier. One, caulk your ceiling line. Up here, I don't know if the camera can see it or not. If you caulk, if you texture a wall and you go to and then you go to cut it in, your brush is trying to make the leaps between the high and the low spots of the texture. Caulk it, because then you have a straight line to follow. It's all the same. It's very, go around, cut you a little bit of, cut, cut all the smallest tip that you can. Run it all the way around your ceiling, or if you're cutting in a wall or anything else, run a bead of caulk down it, knock it down with your finger, and then you can cut in, and your brush isn't hitting those high and lows. So as you're dragging it, if you hit a deep spot in your texture, you have one line to follow. So you're following a straight line instead of a jagged line. Number two, and I'll show you that because it makes it so much easier. My dad used to do that, and I always thought it was awesome. Until I, but I forgot, until I got to this room. I'm like, hey, I'll tell other people. I think that'd be cool. But, next thing. <sighs> people buy them expensive liners and stuff for your little paint buckets and all your cutting buckets. One gallon Ziploc bags. Put them in. Turn them inside out, and then when you're done, you seal them up, pull your air out, and your paint's still good for the next week. It's easy. You don't have to clean all this stuff out. So easy. Same thing. Your roller gets a garbage bag. Put the garbage bag all the way over it, and when you're done, fold the garbage bag out, turn it in over on itself, and now, your paint is dry, or your paint is clean, you have no cleanup, it's easy. I'll show you that actually, because I'm gonna do it here in a minute. See, paint goes in the thing. Then, when you're done, you just boom. I wanna go eat lunch. Now where's all my paint? My paint's in the bag. Which can be sealed, and it's easy. And you just do a little tuck, a little rattle, and you fold it over. Boom. It's easy. And they're like eight cents a piece. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna load up the middle of the brush. I'm just gonna dip it a couple times, squeeze out the sides, dip it, squeeze it. I'm loading up the middle. That's where you wanna paint from so you don't get with these big beads of paint. But now I can just follow my caulk line. instead of the highs and the lows of the texture. And I can cut in a straight line. So easy. My God, why did I forget about this? My dad would be so disappointed in me. This is gonna look so much better on the other side. By the way, I, whenever I mixed up my paint for spraying, I made sure that I poured in a gallon for cut-in so it's diluted the same. Because if you cut down your paint with water or paint thinner, and then you go to try to cut in with some stuff that's not watered down, so it sprays easy. And it looks different. It's a different color. The pigmentation is different. I can never be a surgeon. Why well, I'm painting houses on a holiday. Well, at least it's my house. 
I've never met a happy surgeon. But you will find happy painters. Okay, I'm sure you all don't want to see me cut in this entire room. But thank you all for watching. I got more tips. <clears throat> all right, so I'm done cutting in. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not. But them cut-in lines are awesome. They are straight. They look perfect. I'm very happy with myself, in case you can't tell. All right, a couple more tips before I let y'all go. Where, where is it? Okay, here. If uh, you're gonna stop painting overnight, I put this on here three days ago, and uh, I went ahead and taped it up because I didn't feel like spraying it out and like redoing it. So what I did was um, I put a little bit of water on it, put a trash bag over it, taped up my trash bag, and now, this is just as wet as when I left it three days ago. So I don't know if you noticed or not, but I don't like cleaning this stuff out unless I need to. It's kind of like half my theme, I guess, but uh, the lazy painter. But, uh, but yeah, it's still nice, squishy. It, it never dried out. You don't need the air to dry out, so it won't, it won't do that. But uh, I got a little bit of water in here, and when, whenever I'm ready, what I'll do is I'll just roll it out into the pan um, I'll just roll that out into the pan and there's really, there's no like standing water. It's just good, wet, moist, yeah, work. Um, but yeah, so trash bag over your rollers. If you want to leave them overnight, start back over. I'm done cutting in, but I uh, went ahead and washed the brush. I don't have any tips for that. You gotta wash your brushes, take care of them. They'll take care of you. Um, one thing before I cut in, what I do is I wet my brush. I soak it and I flick it out really good. Give it one of these, and that's when I start painting. For me, one, it stops the staining. You know, like it, it, it keeps it wet enough to where if you paint for 30, 40 minutes, you're not gonna be all stained up. But two, it feels like it loads up better in the middle, and it just lets me cut a better edge. Um, I gotta stress like the easy stuff alone, like, hey, listen, this paint, you know, I'm done with it for right now, but it'll be good in my bag for however long I want it to be. You know, then whenever I'm ready, you know, I just open it back up, fold the edges back, and I'm ready to cut in again. But uh, main points were, you know, just little things like, you know, go ahead and, you know, you, you can throw a bag over your roller head. Um, you can throw a bag into, you know, any of your cut-in stuff. You can do this with Gatorade bottle or whatever. But the biggest thing is caulking anything you're cutting in that, uh, that's gonna make everything so much easier. And that's really it as far as like painting tips, you know, like if you see a lot of those videos where you're like, oh my God, how did they cut that in so awesome? It looks like a laser. That's because they've done it a hundred times, thousand times, okay? You're not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna be Mike Tyson just because you started painting, you know, but you know, you can be the guy who fights a lot at the bar, you know, if you just gotta keep doing it. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it, you know, and uh, I'm gonna start. Oh, nail holes. That's one thing to do. Stop coughing your nail holes. Don't do that. Go get spackle. Spackle doesn't shrink up. If you ever notice, if you've ever hit like nail holes or like if you're redoing a wall and you've got some picture frame or something like that, don't use caulk to fill nail holes. It, it shrinks up because it's got such a high moisture content. I use this DAP Dextra. It's really easy, it's paintable, sandable, but it doesn't shrink up. It's got a low moisture content. It kind of rolls on, like, pr like it, it, it's pretty heavy as it is. But you hit your nail holes with, you know, with the spackle, and they're gone. You'll, you'll, you'll never see them again. Um, but one thing is, I'll just go over, like, push it in with your thumb, and then scrape it. That's how I do it. So you actually get, you actually get the uh, spackle in the hole. But yeah, so nail holes, Spackle. Caulk your lines. Caulk your ceiling. Use a use a damp brush. Put bags in your stuff. Makes life so easy. Even on your roller pants, put a trash bag in it. When you get done, like I said, you know, just wrap it back up. That's actually where that trash bag came from. Got done rolling. Realized, hey, I want to. You know, it's getting late. I'm tired of painting. Turn that bag inside out, around, over my roller. A little bit of tape. Boom, went to bed. I had to wash one brush out. One, took me like five minutes and I was ready to go to sleep. 
But look, you know, it's little things like that. But uh, I'll have more videos. But all right, thank y'all. Hey, subscribe. I've got more videos on all kinds of cool stuff. Like, built this train you see in here. Um, how I lost all my money and I'm starting back over. That's a long video, so if you got time, but, but you know, lost a bunch of money on that. And, you know, just kind of me starting over, but this is what I really enjoy doing. But, all right, thank y'all. Subscribe.